Hello, holy one. Hello, Hi. hello. <laughs> oh, you look How beautiful. You? Oh, thank you. So do you, as always. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You do, though. You look vibrant. And I have to say, I don't know what you've been doing, but you look younger. You look mm, like you have this glow to you. Thank you. I have actually been using castor oil on my face every night. <laughs> actually, I made my own little mix. I use it actually everywhere on my arms, on my belly. I've been um, castor oil with rosehip, black seed, and frankincense. Beautiful. That's oh, well, I love that. And what a cool confirmation because we've been on these calls before mm -hmm. over the years. And here I'm looking at you and I'm like, you look younger. What are you doing? <laughs> And the w funny thing is, too, once since I started doing that, and I don't know if it's because I've jumped back into the acosma, and I know things, appearances can change, but I put a little bit of just, just the castor oil, not with the other stuff in it, on my eyelids, and I have noticed that my eyes have gotten brighter. Like, the green in them, they're more green than they are bright because they're hazel. Oh, so wow. I have noticed in the last couple of weeks that my eyes seem so much brighter. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's yeah. really beautiful. Yes. I love it. Yeah, they say castor oil is so good for so many things that we're just starting to tap back into, uh, you know, utilizing it. My husband had like a cyst underneath the skin uh, in his chest area, and he put castor oil on it with some saran wrap over it for a few hours every night and every day it would go down and he went to the doctor and they checked him all out and they were like yeah just keep putting the castor oil on it <laughs> like, that's it's awesome <laughs> that's awesome um and my on that same note my dog had a uh, two three little spots on his back that were like little cysts coming up too and he's almost 15 so he's an old guy and that was they were real dry and i said well let me just do that and i started putting the castor oil on there and i have noticed them shrink so um, I yeah love it. all right so. well we may we may leave this in the video to help others as well but we do state that she and i are not doctors in any way so right. you have to do your own research <laughs> but we can speak from experience and this is our experience with it but castor oil yeah. is is really good uh, in so many ways to assist us. And yes. for the most part, it's inexpensive. Uh, you're looking at natural, holistic. And mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it's really fascinating. I, I first heard of it on TikTok. That was the first time I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I watched Instagram is where I heard it. The, uh, this girl started saying stuff about it. And then the funny thing is, is it popped up on YouTube, someone doing a, you know their own review of it and different things. So. Yeah. I was like, all right, I got to try this. <laughs> See what it's all about. So, so glad I did. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's really awesome. All right. So we were coming here for multiple reasons. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and and we're so we're so brave. We're like, yeah, let's do it all in one hour. So let's see. <laughs> like it's the doable. Nike logo. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's totally doable. We're quantum. All right. Yes. So first off, the origination point of the connection, I believe, was coming from feedback you shared with me on your at least second time through AQE Foundations. I think it was yes. the second. Okay. Yes. And yes, and you've been in other spaces as well through the Being the New Human teachings and grid work we do. So you have other spaces you've been continually connecting in with in one way or another uh, through the, the years. But this AQE course, is this a year later? Were you in the last one last year or were you in before that? Like your time? I was about? in before that. And you did offer, I was going to join the last one, but I was in a weird space. Like I wanted to, but I was in a spot where I still, I started feeling like, well, maybe a Cosmo isn't for me. Maybe I can't do this. Maybe, you know, the, the old programming of, well, Andrea is awesome, but, but I guess I'm not, I don't have that gift type space. And I was kind of in that space and started um, thinking other things. Maybe I had different gifts or different avenues. But something kept telling me, but I still kept watching the new human. I still kept watching your videos and, um, you started coming to me in meditations, which I found very 
you know, it was very interesting. Like I would be in a meditation and as soon as I would start maybe doubting myself or different things, you, I could see you, you would come in and sit with me. Mm -hmm. Um, or I would hear your voice, you know, trust yourself. I, I would hear that a lot. And it was your voice I was hearing. And, mm -hmm. um, so that drew me back to, okay, now this is happening for a reason. She keeps coming to me because I am meant to do this and I am, you know, just gifted as well. And, and, um, and my walk doesn't have to look like hers or like anybody else's. And just because I wasn't speaking the light language yet, or there were certain things that weren't coming on, that didn't mean that it wasn't for me. So I kept watching, kept coming back. And then when you offered um, this class again, and I said, okay, I'm going to do this because this is what I'm meant to do. <laughs> and um, this second time around has definitely, I have expanded <laughs> <laughs> and it's definitely um, coming online now, I guess is the best way I can say it. Um, and feeling more and more confident and more and more that the old programming is being deprogrammed and the new one is being implemented. So I love that. Mm -hmm. I love it. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so you had written me an email reference an experience you had yes. with a space of yourself activating. And do you want to share that with us at all, if you would? So yes, that was, um, I was doing the oil blessing for the day. Um, actually, I had just I was doing my castor oil thing. And I said, Oh, I forgot to do the blessing of my centers today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> and um, I'm just in my bathroom after a shower, nothing special, you know, no candles lit. No, I just said, yeah, I'm going to do it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be some big grand thing. And that was something that I always had trouble with. I always thought it had to be, okay, I have to light this candle. I have to do this. I ha it has to be this way or it doesn't count, so to speak, or it won't work. Or um, And that was part of my problem. I had a hang up with how it was supposed to look. Mm -hmm. Um, then I just said, well, I'm already using this oil to do my face and stuff. So let me just go ahead and bless the centers. And as I was doing my blessing and when I got to the crown and then near the end of the blessing, all of a sudden the light the language just started coming and like, I could speak like, and I did, wasn't afraid because I think before it had tried to come and I stopped myself like, oh, no, 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 I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not doing it right. So, um, and then I just started, it just started speaking as I'm looking in the mirror and I was the feeling, and I think I told you this shared with in the email that now I understand why your voice changes, why your body, you know, changes and jerks, because it was an intense energy that I have never felt before, but it was a beautiful energy, nothing scary or nothing. Um, it was just, it's kind of hard to describe, but unless you do it yourself and then but like I finally understood why, um, you know, why, why your body does what it does and your voice changes because mine did too. And it was just that overwhelming feeling and it was a love and a happiness and a joyful feeling. Um, something I had never felt on that level before. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next day I was going into, because I think I shared this with you the following day, I was going into um, AQE, the, the PDF. And I was starting to read it. And just as I was starting to read it, it said it was 12, 12, 12. Mm -hmm. And I have an angel numbers book. And I went and looked up the angel number. And it was um, something about you were meant to do this. You were meant to bring light and peace to the world. Look at what you're already doing, how your thoughts and actions are already doing that. And so then that was the second confirmation the very next day that, yes, I am meant to be here. And, and this is for me. And this is why I came. <laughs> so those two things were really, really big for me, because like I said, last year I was really doubting and questioning whether this was something that I could do um, and it doubted my ability. And these two things showed me that, um, yes, yes, I can do this. <laughs> and yes, I meant to do this. <laughs> so, um, um, and then the thing, the other confirmations I have gotten is like, when you asked me to do this Zoom call, you told me you had seen hawks because you know, you and I have huge hawk energy. Mm -hmm. and um, Right as I was listening to your message, I opened my sliding glass door and here come two hawks flying above, just screeching away. And I said, if that isn't confirmation, I don't know. 
what is. <laughs> so, oh my the, goodness. Yeah, the signs and the synchronicities that are coming through, just the confirmations have just been amazing. And just very, very amazing. So, I love it. I love all of it. And thank you for being open to share it with us. Shared yes. it with me. And then I said, can we share this with the world? And you said, yes. You said, yes, I want others to see this. So um, this is several years of you trusting yourself, several right. years of navigating ebb and flow this way and that and continually redirecting and moving into more of you. Right. And so this is so powerful because I cannot tell you the amount of emails I get or comments on videos or spaces that I put stuff out in where people will say, why hasn't this happened for me yet? Why haven't I started speaking my languages of light yet? Or why can't I see things in a session? Or why can't I see things in meditation? And there's, there's so many spaces of this, but I love it when people come forward who navigated with, yes, grace and peace and balance in their being. Was every day perfect for you? Probably not. No. There were probably <laughs> some days where you were ready to throw your hands up or you did throw your hands up, right? Yes, yes. But you never left the path of, like you never completely you oh. know, walked away from you in this space. Um, I love to call those spaces where it ebbs and flows the not yet spaces, because it doesn't mean we're never doing it. It just means not yet. And that right. just means there's the potential still. So, right. so this story is so helpful. It's so powerful. And yes, you are, Angela, thank you for this. You are part of a, yes, part of the collective of humanity. You are this um, unique, specific space of vibration with many others like you, but it's a subset, if you will. And energetically, you are assisting all of the ones who are feeling as if they're not enough fast enough, or they may never get it, or they're not good enough to get it, or yes, they're less in some way. You and many others like you said, we'll go in and break that program. Right, right. I, I, I see it really clearly while we're talking, all right? Now, you started, break, this is gonna be a little bit, maybe not, plan not like no one saw this coming but that's okay we love that right <laughs> yes. so yes. i believe you started breaking that program through the love and care you give to animals yeah yes, yes. yeah mm -hmm. Be, yeah so there's this vibrational flow of us where we're learning to value life in other forms outside our own at a different level of understanding and you've held that uh for probably your entire existence in this life and you've shown it to animals mm -hmm. um she takes a lot of animals in and she cares <laughs> for them and she doesn't say they have to be perfect and pedigree and know how to do everything at and the other she likes the ones i'm humbly from the background feel like she loves and seeks the ones that maybe no one else seeks and yes. um and she's a safe harbor so that was the initial space of this yes yes clearing of an old program of humanity and initiation yes activation of a new one when you didn't give up on you in a sense with this story you just told uh that was like the next level so you started off feeling safe with the animals because the animals they love you right where you're at and they don't ask yes. anything else of you and they know you love them. So that was your first space of, yes, uh, allowance of you and allowance of divine love. It felt safe to be divine love in that connection. Yes. It is. Yes. Then you kept being drawn to expand your connection of divine love and to allow more divine love. And you, for lack of better word, you, <laughs> like kind of entered in and out of like like a wave you'd go in and then you oh wait a minute and they whoa and uh but you never stopped trusting 
you know, so that's such a big shout out to everyone right now that's listening to trust yeah. yourself, even when you have a day where you retract and you don't trust as much, just hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go again. There you go again. And so this opened up into this space of self-trust that at, was then energetically aligned to activate these remembrances in you. Yes. Yes. So, so timing is like not what we want to focus on because people will say, how fast can I this? The, the sentence might be more powerful to just say, how can I this? Right. Yes. And remove right. the word fast and just be open to it happening. Yes. yes. So I think that's really good to show here. Now, another really important point is the, the part that animals play because they want us, this is, this is so layered, but we're getting so many messages. She, Angela and I have immense connection with hawk energy, deer energy, owl mm -hmm. energy, animals. And then before the call today, she's yes. writing me about an animal. You're writing me about an animal before we even get on here today, <laughs> right before. So yes. uh, we're really showing ourselves how interconnected the human healing is to this space of connection with animals. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. So AQE is a cosmic quantum energy. It's what I'm here to teach, to bring, to facilitate, to anchor. It's what Angela felt drawn to, and she's here to facilitate it. I believe she's going to teach it one day as well. Um, if you're drawn to this channel of mine, if you're drawn to my videos with the orbs of light, the beings of light, if you're drawn to my being in your human classes, my sacred alignments, it's all a cosmic quantum energy. Why? <laughs> because it is a bridge of us to the higher spaces of us. That's what I'm here to help with. That's what a cosmic quantum energy is here to assist with, the ascension of humanity in this space. Are there other things out there? Yes, absolutely. Are they right. all beautiful and wonderful? Most likely they are all in higher alignment of the divine flow. Yes, they are. This right. is what I'm here to share. So right. if you resonate with this space, this is what you're resonating with, a cosmic quantum yeah. energy. Now we're gonna, tap in angela has agreed to allow the space for you to see uh, a bit of what in a cosmic quantum energy session is when we do them live on zoom now i have a few other videos on my youtube channel you may have seen me and david <laughs> he was so gracious that was a big session space and he let me share the whole thing um i know i've had some others on here i've had a conscious conversation with michael that wasn't as much of the energy side of it as we're going to do here but there are many other videos on my page this is something i've come to understand needs to be seen and heard more which is what these sessions are like what they can bring uh what you're going to see here is only one space of it they're limitless I did one with a client the other day and it was a walk back and we ended up going back to a space of childhood and bringing in healing to a space of the inner child, a trauma space. That's different. That's another space of it, facet of it. But Angela, you can state it for me here or reiterate what you already shared with me via your message, but you are looking for some answers, some specifics. Yes. Uh, would, would you like to state what you're looking for, what you... I Sure, I can do what I'm looking for um, is I would like to know some my where some of my origins are, mm -hmm. where um, I feel I'm connected to angelics a lot. I feel um, elementals as well. But I would like to know which um, star beings, which, you know, who am I working with? Where did I come from? Um, cause I think it would help me to better understand my gifts, what my, you know, what my specialties are type, type thing. Um, it's just, it, it's Palladian, is it, you know, Octarian, is it, is it all of it? Because I know that people could be all of that. We, we are so limitless and there are so many spaces that are vast and we can be any and all of it. But I would like to, um, I feel that I'm surrounded by lots of beings. And I would like to maybe be able to tap into some of those energies more and um, really try to hone in on um, some of the beings that are around me and what their origins are and what my origins are so that I can um, 
expand myself even further. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And that's the best part of the sentence, expand myself even further. And Angela knows me very well. We've been together several years and probably beyond that as well. But um, we always teach in a cosmic quantum energy that we get insights and inner knowings. They are remembrances. They are activations of spaces of us. And then we always say, and we are more, because yes. that allows us to not get stuck in the spaces we remember and that allows us to keep remembering more. Right. So, all right, I had to hold this up while you were talking because I wanted everybody to see that I wasn't writing when you were talking. I wrote when right. you first came into the call. <laughs> I first made connection here with you. I started writing just a little bit. And then it's interesting what you just said. You said you what you felt you had connections with. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so immediately coming into the call, I'm going to read it and then I'll show it to you. I'm not I'm not writing now. I wrote it earlier. <laughs> OK, so you have connection with the blues. I saw that right away when I saw you. We're going to talk about that for you as well. There mm -hmm. are seven beings in a collective that are always with you. Yes. And okay. uh, they are connected with the angelics. OK. <laughs> Yes, and you, you are a part of them. And you also have ancient shaman roots. Now we're gonna elaborate on all of this, but I just want proof. I had already written all of that out at the very beginning of the call when we were just talking because I could see it like all around you as you were speaking to me. I did know we were gonna go in this direction. So I was open and ready for any information as it was coming. But let's go into the quantum, a cosmic quantum, a uh, more traditional type of a connection point. This is still that. Right. And we are learning to do this more and more with our eyes open, but we're going to allow Angela to close her physical eyes and we're going to allow her to relax. Now, anyone watching this, you're just, you're being welcome to see this space with us. And this is what happens in a space of these connections one on one. So, Angela, you're taking deep breaths, nice and slow, nice and deep. Yes, let that body drop. <sighs> Yummy. So you're doing beautiful, Angela, right away. Yes, you're rooting. So she's anchoring her root lines deeper, which is going to allow her to hold and ground the energy that's coming in that's her in what she understands as higher consciousness of her, more of her. She's vast, limitless. And she's allowing her information to come in through this session. So just allowing the breath. Yes, blessing those root lines. Ooh, very big opening in your root center. Yes. So the way in which, ooh, this is a lot really fast. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I have to just hold it for a moment. Just allow, please, just breathe. Just breathe. There's a lot happening. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now your root, your root center, your entire root center reset itself completely. I smell shampoo, beautiful. I know, I just tell you everything. I smell shampoo, beautiful, clean, fresh scent. Also, the root center is reset to safe. It's a level of safety you've never felt before. It's a level of knowing all your needs are met. So you're really big clearing on the right side of your throat and neck right now, but you're clearing uh, some older uh, vibrational alignments that are connected with your family lines that have to do with uh, lack, finance, uh, yes, uh, yes, you're, yes, you're resetting your root center, yes, to abundance, yes, to everything you need and everything you want flowing easily into your life, period. Just allow your breath, please. The back of your head is opening, the energy in the back of the head, the mouth of God, the brain, a lot of, uh, whew. Oh, programming, belief structures, personality traits, addictions, dropping, 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 dissolving. Yes, resetting, clearing. Oh, yane. Allow your breath, please. Yes, 
Yes. So you work with a team uh, of, of light outside of what we understand as a cosmic consciousness. These, this team of light has always been with you and is a part of a cosmos in the understanding of unity, the coalition of light. But these are a specific unit, a collective of beings to you and your soul, your eternalness. Uh, I keep getting the number seven, seven beings in the collective. There's a really big clearing going on in your solar plexus. Just breathe, please. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's connected to your family, your children, and yes, your mother, your father. They're all the lines, both directions. Yes, this is also going to assist with the awakening. Yes, the spiritual awakening of the family. Just allow your breath, please. Now there's like a vision of angelics. Yes, beings you would call angels, but that is very limiting. They are way more than what we have understood them as, but they have this vibrational alignment of sacred, holy, divine flow. They're around your home. They never leave. They are the four corner points of your land. Yes, and your home and your structure. And they lift their wing or protection or light, however you want to call it, name is not important, over your dwelling. And they create a dome. Yes, just allow your breath, please. This is always, this is not something new. This is just me being able to show you, tell you, confirm with you what Artie is. Yes, there's a big expansion in your third eye right now. Just allow, please. It's moving out through your head, your brain, your neural pathways. Just allow. I, let's allow the crown to open. Uh, intend it. Tell it I open my crown. And just allowing your flow. Allowing your breath. Beautiful. So there's visions coming in of various spaces you've lived already. You are vast. You are eons old. You have been on earth before. Uh, you will never be on the earth as it has been known again, because you are in alignment of the new earth. So your now soul space will experience spaces in connection with earth if it chooses to but they would be what you would understand as the future in the new earth you and your body and your being are a vibrational anchor point of the new earth as you expand and allow you and trust you which is the divine yes within the form that is the that is the alignment of the new earth yes Allow your breath, please. Yes, oh, you have ooh, many spaces of you with earth. The ones that come forth immediately, uh, you have an Atlantis or uh, Atlantean, yes, yes, connection. But you also have understandings and connections in Mu. Uh, hold on, Numeria, yes. And you have a really big connection with uh, the oceans of the earth, uh, the dolphin energy, the whale energy, uh, the elders of the origination of earth, the architects for the origination of earth. There are many of you here, yes, on the planet now, and you are here to implement the plan that was, yes, the original plan. Yes, this is not the original plan, but you are implementing it. Yes by awakening your own energetic alignment and flow to it. Once it is within you, it can be within all. Yes, allow your breath, please. So you have really big Palladian connections that are connected with these understandings I'm speaking of right here with Earth and Lumeria, but that ties into your connection with Yeshua. You have a very deep connection with Yeshua, Jesus. You have a very deep connection, but you never held, I say this humbly, you make your own choice in your own mind, but the energy here is telling me you never bought what was sold to you, reference Jesus. You always knew there was something more or something missing or both. <laughs> yes, there's a very emotional space. Yes. This is a very emotional space because it connects back through many of your lifetimes. 
yes and sacred divine love yes purples flooding in yeshua has connections with the pleiades and pleiadian energy there is also connections with octorian energy and octoris yes yes uh these are spaces of you that you are working with right now in this lifetime as angela to assist earth you are yes what they would call hmm, a new one or a new yes breed or space of yes the alignment because there have been many teachings and understandings that yes we are being asked to allow to expand the teachings yes the understandings hold spaces of truth and clarity but so much has changed in your timelines your earth timelines and there are multiple timelines because there are so many of you in the species of human and all processing from a collective consciousness yet individual spaces so there's a lot of reality lines available these things have shifted over time so the core teachings available in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s those are there but the adaption of variations must be noted as much has changed allow the breath please yes just allow the breath. Now we are open to any other information that is optimal, but I would like to allow this space to bless those root lines so that all that is coming in is anchored and grounded so that all that is beautifully done, Angela. Beautifully done. My body tips backwards when the individual or the group ground and anchor the root lines. But my body just went backwards. Beautifully done. <laughs> Now we bless those root lines and those feet, those legs, those glorious root lines in those legs of yours, that as you move forward in your path, in your now, you are aware and you are uh, allowing a new now. You because you have new, you have a new vibration in your legs. You have new vibration in your root, your torso, bottom of your torso, your feet. That's new. That is not the same vibration that sat down with me at the beginning of the call. You aligned a new vibration of you. Yes. Purple flooding in. Breathe. Walk new, holy one. Allow new, holy one. Yes. It can be incremental, absolutely. But every increment is worthy. Yes. So allow. You have light language coming in, 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 in packages of sacred geometry, of signs and symbols. They look like hieroglyphics, if you will, like what we'd see in a cave or something, or like in Egypt in a temple. Yes. Or on a tablet. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. These are, these are yours. These are yours. They were written what you would understand as thousands of years ago or tens of thousands of years ago or even hundreds of thousands of years ago in different lifetimes but they have a connection point to you and that energy you are right now yes reconnecting with that's your remembrance yes just allow your breath please just allow your breath yane yakao koko aye we're blessing the beautiful soul reconnection of you. So in that, I see a vision of like a fan of light spanning out behind you with various lines of light coming from this now form of you moving through what you would see as all the spaces of you and any spaces that were yes ah uh, yes splintered fractured yes set to the side for survival yes they are now being given the opportunity to set back into alignment of the wholeness of you as the focal point of all your nows Allow your breath, please. You have a really big space coming in 
from a past uh, Earth life. Uh, this was an island space. Uh, there was a there was a tragic space of loss of all life for this yes uh, race of people. Yes, that you were in that lifetime. There were many children. I can see that this alignment of healing that you are anchoring and holding right now in this space of what we understand as the quantum, but this space of it is healing many, if not your entire race of peoples from that past life. This is beautiful because a lot of times it's the individual heals their own past life. You're healing your whole race right now. Just allow your breath. That's all you have to do. Be the space. Be the space. There's a lot of energy moving through the solar plexus, the tummy, and there's a lot of energy moving through the left hand. So there was a lot of divine feminine healing going on in this healing. But I'm seeing like an entire village group of people, men, women, and children, animals all walking out of some space whether it was a volcano or a meteor but there was some type of destructive force and an entire race of people was eliminated <gasps> just allow your breath please this is part of your angelic connection to bring this healing alignment to this space of the collective itself and you're running it beautifully. Just allow, please. This is a connection to your shaman roots as well. Uh, Yane, I can hear you and see you dancing barefoot on dirt by a fire. Uh, yes, very, very uh, in, uh, uninhibited. Yes, completely free. Yes, yes. A lot of energy coming off the top of your back, your shoulder blade, but up higher and like the neck and the top of the shoulders. So something connected to this that we're talking about is in your now physical form uh, for feeling like you carry the weight of the world in some way, some relationship, some part of your life, your own thought process an addiction, whatever it is, all of the above, but you're clearing that. And it's connected to the energy alignment of this space that we're talking about with this race of people that is part of your soul family, that your soul reconnection space is offering this alignment of healing and renewal to. Just breathe, Holy One. I know it's a lot, just breathe. It's a lot in the mind's uh, understanding, but it's nothing for your energetic being. You're the divine in flow. Just breathe, let it be, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Beautifully done. Yes, just be the space. They're all coming home. <laughs> That's what I need to tell you. <laughs> They're all coming home. Just breathe, holy one. Rainbow, purple sky. These people are from Earth in a time frame, but they are also from another planet that came here to be seated on Earth. <gasps> yes, yes, you play a part in that Holy One. Yes, the, now the heart is opening and healing. Yes, just allow your breath. Beautifully done. Just allow your breath, just allow the space. This is directly connected with the light language you speak now. And you've opened the door to this vastness of you by allowing you, by loving you. It's changing. It's like I can see the energy shifting in your now form. Your solar plexus is doubled over. You're clearing your family lines. This is children, parents, every way. Uh, and as you're doing this, it's like the world that you see, the physical around you, the home, the physical items, 
everything is becoming pixely, like pieces. Yes, intricate pieces. There's that create what you see as your reality and they're all vibrating right now because you right now are in a new alignment of you. <gasps> Very expansive. And all of the reflective points are vibrating and shifting and changing to match you. Yes, in this new flow of you. Please breathe. Yeshua is right behind you. Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, either side of you. Just breathe, please. You never have to feel as if you betray or give up your beliefs. You may always allow your beliefs and bless them to expand as you do. Yes, allow your breath, please. We're blessing your sacred heart reconnection. We're blessing that portal in the heart center. That is that way in which you flood into you. <laughs> Breathe. Beautiful anchoring. You're anchoring and you're expanding your crown simultaneously. Your body knows exactly what to do and it's doing it masterfully. <laughs> Your back is opening. That means your wings of light are opening. It's your energy being able to flow while in your form. Yes, you came to be this space. Yes, you are equipped and able. Yes, you are aligning with this knowing of yourself. Breathe. Pia <laughs> Kautoa. The I am blessed, the beautiful sacred heart reconnection expanded, and that goes around the field, your field. You are your field. If your I am increases and expands within your form, that emanates out, yes, as your field. Yes, your auric field is not just a bunch of pretty colors to be assessed by someone who can take a photo and read them. Your auric field is you, your divine flow, your creative force. Yes, and it is your impenetrable field of love. Yes, everywhere you go, is this emanating vibrating you around your body form and it is impenetrable the spaces of tears and cords and all of this you do not live there anymore that is a timeline you no longer align with yes you walk with an impenetrable shield of love flowing all around you as you the I am in form. Allow your breath, please. Addictive behaviors drop. Judgmental tendencies dissolve. Yummy! Self love rises. Self mastery anchors. Peace and balance on your being, your throat, your mind, your field. Yes, resetting the waters of the body. They are programmable. And we are allowing the new program. Breathe, please. Allow the space. Yes, Allow the space. <laughs> Purple flooding in. Heart wide open. You want to sing from the rooftops. 
joy, the joy of the spirit. There is a release going on in the heart, a release and a shift, an alchemization of a space you no longer are. Yes, that was inside your heart, waiting for you to move into the space that you now remember yourself to be. Allow your breath. Yes. You have connections to a colonial time as well. So when the ships came from Europe, that understanding of history, there's a space there coming in visually. I don't know if you already know of this or not, but um, it looks like a connective point of the lineage in your family coming um, from Europe on a ship. You have connections with the, the uh, I don't know the name that is given to them by humans, uh, but I can describe them. I think they're called Karens maybe, but they're standing stones. They are in Scotland and they are in Ireland prominently in what we know in Europe, but they're all over our planet and they're under our oceans. And they were utilized in many means of connectivity, of communication, of portal, uh, interdimensional, dimensional travel. Uh, we have much technology on this planet that we have not utilized in what our lifetimes, but it is all coming to the surface as knowing of who we are and that it is here. Yes. And there are star gates and portals and you've worked with them. You've worked with the standing stones. Yes, the remembrance of this is in you and you are allowing, yes, this space of you. I see you standing barefoot in the grass, a hawk on your shoulder, an owl near you in a tree. There are Karens, these tall standing stones and you are walking with full dignity, integrity, self-mastery, peace that passes all understanding flowing through your form. And you are working with this space, the energies to assist the opening of the higher levels of flow to be released again on this planet. This planet is a sacred site. Yes, 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 yes. The animals know, yes, they remember. Allow your breath, please. There's a blessing being given to you now, placed over you now. Just allow. You would equivalent. You would see this in equivalent to, ah, uh, yes, the washing of Christ's feet. But it's happening for you, Holy One. Yes. Please allow the space. Yes. Just breathe. Yaksanea kawa. If you feel to put your hands at your heart like a prayer position hand or one hand at the heart just allow you don't have to but if you feel to you're grounding in the energies of you your body's an antenna hand positions body postures assist amplify activate one hand at the center of the chest fingers faced upwards towards the face towards the head palm flat there thumb against the chest Yes, two hands prayer position works the same way at the center of the chest. Just allow your breath. I have my eyes closed, so I'm not looking at you right now, but just allow your breath, please. <laughs> oh, Sunday, go.
a space of you, a female space of you in a past life in looks like Ireland or Scotland, somewhere over there, was just released, yes, freed from some bondage having to do with the belief systems you held that the culture, the people you were with, yes, yes, did not see you as you were, yes, and you, that part of you was judged. You were called like a witch, yes, or something like that, but you were a healer with herbs, yes, ah, uh, but I see her, you, that space running barefoot on the tall grasses beautiful free happy you freed that space of yourself here thank you for doing so please allow your breath all spaces of the akasma quantum energy session have been given this is the foundations of the remembrance of who you are and the ever expanding blessing on that every time you choose to connect in and to allow and to be these spaces of you these remembrances these knowings that you are so vast and that you get to allow that vastness in your nowness before we bring the focus back to the physical take a minute in this divine flow of you that you always are even when your eyes will reopen but take a moment yes and bless your family see their faces and say i bless you i bless you i bless you bless the little animal that was possibly lost right now i have a feeling they are safe bless that the outcome be optimal for all involved very beautiful you anchored that right away thank you for doing that your body is in a very vibrant and optimal flow feeling your vibration of your stomach your gut health feels very good there's been restoration you've made. Yes. And I feel like you could lay down in the next 24 hours and just say, I go back in and just allow because there's a lot more unfolding here. And just allowing over the next several days, whenever you get time to just take 10 minutes or 20 minutes or before you fall asleep at night, being open and intentional to allow the continued flow of this space of you. <laughs> allow your breath. We're going to bring the focus back to the physical sight. Slowly and gently, you can wiggle fingers, toes, the nose. Yes, whatever feels right to you, slowly, gently bringing the focus of sight back to the physical eyes. Maintaining the knowing that you are that space that you experienced here, even as your physical eyes are open. That doesn't go away. That didn't happen once upon a time in a session. That's you. That's your vibration. <laughs> and you are that even as you are taking a shower, caring for a child, feeding an animal, doing a job. It's you. It's you, glorious, divine, vast you. Oh, holy one, what a space. What yes. a space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that was a very powerful space. And when you would say things like, I see you this, I see that, like, I was already seeing it too, at the same time. And the Mary on either side, I felt like my hands were being held. Mm -hmm. um, I, I could just, a lot of energy, my uh, buzzing, my hands, my feet, like when we did the roots, and the, I could see them, my lines going deep, deep into the earth. Mm -hmm. And that I could, I felt every, this the surge of energy and then, you know, cry a little bit, but it was happy joy not not a sadness at all <laughs> and 
and the spaces you speak of, I could see myself in the stones and the animals and the, I could see all of it. And it was quite amazing, quite amazing, quite beautiful. Um, the jerks a little bit, you know, I could feel like jolts, the, the fact that everything, you sp I could feel it all, just surges of energy and just, I could see it. It was quite, quite amazing, quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Very uh, wow! <laughs> I think it's kind of hard. Is you're doing a great words. <laughs> yeah, you're right. doing a great job. It is something that really is beyond words, and we do the yeah. best we can with the words we have. But I do think that's another reason why these languages of light are coming in more because yeah. they convey this energy um, through their frequency of just their sounds. Uh, they like are packages of conversations of the universe so all right this is fantastic thank you unendingly for allowing me to you she, you came in knowing yes we're going to be able to share it so that was bravery because you didn't even know for sure what was going to happen so look no. at you <laughs> oh thank you so much i'm so blessed so blessed so so blessed for this space thank you i am so grateful so grateful very very grateful <laughs> Beyond words, grateful, <laughs> quite, quite amazing. And I just want to encourage anybody who has been in the space that I am. That's why I wanted to share. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself and don't put it in a box. Don't put it in a timeline. Don't put it in. It has to happen this way. It has to happen. Just trust and keep going. And it will happen in divine timing. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Perfect. Beautiful. What a gift. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you so very much. So I will talk to you soon, beautiful yes. Angela, and yes. you can give me an update on the little dog as well. And oh, I'll well. give you any more info if any more okay. comes in, um, but covering all involved in love and peace as the space unfolds. And thank you to everyone who in, was in this space with us and, uh, we're honored to share this with you. We're honored yes. to lay this at your feet, that it may be a blessing to you in some way as well. Yes, yes, yes. To thank, our, you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. To our beautiful family of light. We love you. We love you. We love you. Yes. Mwah. Unendingly. <laughs> Unendingly. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Bye -bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.